So ADC deficiency or um, aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase deficiency, that is an enzyme, it's a genetic condition. It's a rare genetic condition. The disease affects uh, kids all over the globe. We believe that there are about 5,000 patients affected by this disease globally. Uh, most of those patients, they are undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. So, and the reason why is because this disease, one of the manifestations of this disease that the kids uh, since the birth, they, they can hold the, the, the head up, they cannot sit unassisted, they cannot walk, they cannot speak. In other words, they cannot develop uh, as expected for a child at this age. So it it's makes those these diseases very difficult to diagnose because it mimics other neurological disease like cerebral palsy, so epilepsy or epileptic encephalopathy, so other diseases that are that are manifest through signs and symptoms like hypotonia, this dyskinesia, um, or even a uh, seizure like that is what you call the oclogitic crisis. So it's an involuntary uh, movement of the eye, rolling eyes. And there are sometimes the doctors, they believe that it's a seizure crisis, and, and it's not. It's the oclogitic crisis. That is very typical of those AADC deficient patients. Okay. Once diagnosed with AADC deficiency, uh, it's the, the options are very limited. So basically they are using uh, medicines that are that you help with the dopamine, uh, reestablishing the dopamine, but it's very limited because there is the gene mutation does allow the synthesis of the dopamine or serotonin. So all the, ther the therapies uh, available are very limited in terms of the impact. There is no uh, therapy approved for ADC deficiency that will impact, affect the underlo underlying cause of the disease.